the new Nintendo 2DS XL. That's right. It's the new Nintendo 2DS XL. An ergonomic folding design, 82% larger screens comparing to the Nintendo 2DS. A C stick for enhanced controls. And Amiibo and NFC support built in. But is it better than the Nintendo DS IXL? Which one would you buy the most? Well, let's find out. Let's find out starting now. In the box, it comes with the new Nintendo 2DS XL, a power cable, quick start guide, and AR cards. So here is the Nintendo DSi XL. And I also got these extendable styluses as well too. This is not, first of all, this is not from a original Nintendo 3DS as well. I just got them sold separately. And these are AR cards. Like it has these special characters here. And like, I'll tell you like that at part two. I can make a part two video like, Starting like soon, maybe tomorrow or something like that. Let's open this up. And wow, this is wow. Nintendo made these screens bigger than I thought. And now the Nintendo DSi XL. Well, come to think of it, that it looks like a little broken already. So that's why I had a replacement as well as this too. Also, I had to make an announcement. Um. Uh, uh, I did not want to do this, but I had to cancel the unboxing and set up in first impressions on the new Nintendo 2DS XL. So, because, because I didn't have enough storage on my iPhone X. I mean it, not enough storage on my iPhone X. So there's no unboxing, set up, and review video for this. Kind of disappointing, right? I'm so sorry, guys. But luckily, you're excited because we have, we finally have a 2DS XL video. And it's a review in comparison to the Nintendo DSi XL versus the new Nintendo 2DS XL. And it, like, always has its great capabilities as well. So, and, like, that is like so cool. So like, let's move the extendable stylus aside and let's compare the screens. First, first the top screens. And like comparing to this, like comparing to this, like I mean it, Nintendo made these screens bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, really, I am not even kidding to this here. So, like, here is the touch screen, the 2D screen, top screen, and touch screen. This is also considered as 2D screen because it's not even on a 3D software. I kind of do know them by the name of this. Because, dude, considering to this and this, the Nintendo 2DS XL 2D screen is a lot larger than the Nintendo DSi XL screen. <coughs> so, as well as with with either one of these, and like now, let's compare the touch screens to the new Nintendo 2DS XL versus the DSi XL. Wow, considering to this, the Nintendo 2DS XL's touchscreen is a lot smaller than the DSi XL's touchscreen. Sorry about the background noise. All I needed is like some peace and quiet as well. Well, it's okay. At least they're considerate as well. Let's compare to like the size of these. Hold on, just get more focus. And as you can see, 
Oh my goodness, wow, this this is like this system is a lot more smaller than like than the DSI XL when it's opened. But what about when it is closed? Wow, still smaller. Let's check on the size as well. I kind of do know the common sense, but yes, it's kind of a lot more smaller than the DSi XL. What a weird point to an XL, like a 2DS XL, a 2DS XL. I mean it, a 2DS XL that is much more smaller than this one. Okay, so, Enough arguing right now. Let's just open the screens and try to turn these on. So, like, here's why I got this as a replacement. You know my DSi XL, right? If you don't, then I probably won't have told you. But in January 2019, my DSi XL broke. And that's why I had to get this. The new Nintendo 2DS XL. Because, like, why I wanted this? Because it's a lot more cheaper than the new 3DS XL. And it has a good ergonomic folding design and has C-Stick for enhanced controls. I kind of didn't want many advanced controls over time. So, that's just, this might be a little easier for me before I can... Go on to the 3DS XL. Okay, let's turn this on. And then there. Let me just turn this. Let me just turn this down a little bit so I don't get a copyright strike. So like here, there's like many different apps like it doesn't even have health and safety information to the DSi XL. You can only find it in the instruction manual. Well, like, now I have, I have the manual digital. And there I go, you see? And it also suspends software and and I can easily go back home because this doesn't even suspend software. And if you want to go home, all you have to do is press the power button. Besides, here's why it's broken. Trust me, I tried everything. See? You see, now I consider the truth that it's broken. And like, as well as with this, and now let's compare it to the ports of while it's charging. So like, they both have mics and cameras, selfie cameras, but it doesn't have the spot pass notification light. Like, I meant the DSi XL7 doesn't have a spot pass notification light. Then this one has a notification light. Now for the poor difference. So this is like a long one. So like this fell down like a huge rock. So okay, so like now let's let's see like this. Yep. And don't forget, we're gonna be plugging this into the power outlet. Your power outlets will be different due to which country you live at. Okay, so like this will be the same as this outlet will be the same as for Canada and Mexico. Let's plug this into a power outlet. And there we go. Okay, so now I have the new Nintendo 2DS XL to see, like, yeah, I, like, let's see, like, let me just close the this 2DS XL for a bit, and... I'm going to plug this in, in three, two, one. Do you see that? Do you see that orange light? 
Yes, this works with the new Nintendo 2DS XL. It even came with one, as I just plugged in. As you can see, it's just plugged in right here. So, yeah, that makes a kind of a difference. So, now, what about for the DSi XL? I know, like, it's broken, but I found differences that it's still rechargeable. So, let's see if this works with the DSi XL. Looks the same on the count of three. One, two, three. And, whoa, did you see that? That's an orange light. Let me just do this again. Three, two, one. Do you see that orange light lighting up? That means it's charging. You see that? Yeah, do you see? This orange light meaning this is charging, even though this is a new Nintendo 2DS XL charging cable. Let me just plug this in for like the rest of this video here. And you see, and as you can see, as you can see, boom, now it's charging. I think I had enough charging for one day because of the DS is broken. And like, here, yeah, it's like more great than ever. Cause like this came with built-in Mario Kart 7, you know. You see? And like, and like with that, that comes with let that brings me the power of the Nintendo 3DS, like the new Nintendo 3DS, in an affordable package. Cause you see, that's like the smallest package. And like compared to the styluses, let's take the, let's take out that stylus. <laughs> that's like the smallest stylus ever. So like let's compare this to the extendable stylus. Yep, definitely. See that it's small. Even if I extend it a little, it'll still be, it'll still be, this will still become small. So like, here, yeah, that's like, that's not like just a main difference to here. Yeah, and it doesn't have Miiverse, but this has PictoChat, as I can remember by heart. This doesn't even have the internet browser. I know, the uh, uh, this doesn't even have an internet browser. I, I know, like, this had an internet browser, but they closed it soon. This doesn't even have Miiverse. This has PictoChat. While this has internet browser and Miiverse. Not even notifications, friend list, and game notes on the DSi Excel. And even home menu settings, so, like... You can change the theme, save load layout, screen brightness, power saving mode, wireless communication, NFC, media, cinema share, amiibo settings, eShop system settings, home menu, home menu manual, and contact information. So yep, this makes it an affordable DSi XL because like this costs a lot more than this, and like I know it's a lot more, like it's a lot expensive, but this is worth, this is like worth every single dollar bill. Like here, yeah. And like compared to like this, this doesn't, like this DSi XL doesn't come with like, doesn't come with like the analog stick, but this one comes with that. It only has, it only has the D-pad, like, uh, is that, is that a circle, I mean, is that a D-pad or a plus control pad? I'm a little confused right now, but if you know, tell it in the comments below. Well, like, it, they still have the X, A, B, and Y buttons, and the start and select buttons. And, like... Like, it has a headphone jack with a microphone jack, but this doesn't even have one. Like, come on, I mean, wow. I didn't even know Nintendo would do that. Well, they might, 
they might do this in a new Nintendo. They might do this in a new Nintendo system. And this doesn't even transfer to from a DSI XL to like from a DSI system to this new Nintendo 2DS system. It only does on the 3DS. Like, come to think of it, it only works on the original Nintendo 3DS, which comes with a charging cradle. And yep, yep, that's mostly like that. And and also with that, you can't even enlarge everything. Like you can like you can't even shrink or enlarge anything. I mean, yeah, and it doesn't even have me maker like in me plaza, e shop, ar, v series. I mean, like nothing. Come on, Nintendo. Like, I mean, like, this is really a cool system. Doesn't have the same features as the new Nintendo 2DS XL system does, but both really affordable systems. I know which one is which, but let's get into gaming cards and styluses. Yeah, we already focused on styluses. The AR cards I'll show you in part two. And, like, this doesn't even support... AR because it's only one camera and the new Nintendo 2DS XL system has two cameras on front facing and both a microphone and self selfie camera and like I have a, I have like a puzzle time game to like try out like on like to see if they fit on both of the systems cuz like cuz like I know I know Nintendo 3DS system support Nintendo DS games, but let's see if that's right. So like, and like right here, and we're gonna we're gonna put this in in three, two, one. Woo! Boom! Yup. This works, and it also works on. The DSi Excel. Three, two, one. It fits. It ops. Like, like. Uh, it absolutely fits. But it doesn't work with Nintendo 3DS games because it's not. It doesn't. I told you. Like, yeah. Again, it doesn't run on 3DS software. Or I haven't even told you yet. I'm a little confused right now. Due to like filmmaking. Okay, anyway, so like, like the DS card does like fit on here. Ooh, luckily it's safe. Let me just like shut down the system. Like, Like, even with this, with, you have to press two buttons to turn this thing off. That's, like, crazy. And, like, and like here it comes with a micro SD HC Toshiba card with 4 gigabytes. And that's really good because it's a... It can take 3,000 photos in 4 gigabytes. 4 gigabytes! I mean, like, really? That is, like, super cool. And, like, this has, like, this has an SD card, but it didn't came with that. I had to order that sold separately. And like, this came with 32 gigabytes. Wait, I'm a little confused. 
because this has, because this says, because this says 32M. So, which one do you think is right? 32 gigabytes or 32 megabytes? If you know, leave it in the comments below. Okay, so anyway, like, I placed it back in there, and then I'll turn it on. And you see? There. And here. And, and I'm guessing is, that's it. Thanks for watching the comparison video. And I'm going to also leave a poll right now. There you go. Now you can answer that question that I just gave you up there. Which system would you rather buy? The DSi XL system or the new Nintendo 2DS XL system? Well, see you guys later. Bye.